And consider Christianity. The entire doctrine is predicated on the idea that the, the gospel account of the miracles of Jesus is true. This is, this is why people believe Jesus was the Son of God, divine, etc. This textual claim, this te textual claim is problematic because everyone acknowledges that the Gospels followed Jesus' ministry by decades, and there, there's no extra-biblical account of his miracles. But, but the, the truth is quite a bit worse than that. The, the truth is, even if we had multiple contemporaneous eyewitness accounts of the miracles of Jesus, this still would not provide sufficient basis to believe that these events actually occurred. Well, why not? Well, the problem is that first-hand reports of miracles are quite common, even in the 21st century. Um, I have met liter literally hundreds at this point of Western-educated men and women who think that their favorite Hindu or Buddhist guru has magic powers. It, all, the powers ascribed to these gurus are every bit as outlandish as those ascribed to Jesus. Uh, now I, I actually remain open to evidence of such powers, but the, the, the fact is that people who tell these stories desperately want to believe them. All to my knowledge lack the kind of corroborating evidence we should require before believing that nature's laws have been abrogated in this way. And, and people who, tr who believe these stories show an uncanny reluctance to look for non-miraculous causes. But it remains a fact that yogis and mystics uh, are said to be walking on water and raising the dead and flying without the aid of technology, uh, materializing objects, reading minds, foretelling the future, R right now. In fact, all of these powers have been ascribed to Satya Sai Baba, the, the South Indian guru, by an uncountable number of eyewitnesses. Now, he even claims to have been born of a virgin, which is not all that uncommon a claim in, his, in the history of religion. Or in history generally, Genghis Khan supposedly was born of a virgin, as was, was Alexander. Apparently, parthenogenesis doesn't guarantee that you're going to turn the other cheek. Uh, but Satya Sai Baba is not a fringe figure. He's not the David Koresh of Hinduism. His followers threw a birthday party for him recently, and a million people showed up. So there are, there are vast numbers of people who believe he is a living God. You can even watch his miracles on YouTube. Prepare to be underwhelmed. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's true that he has an afro of sufficient diameter as to suggest a total detachment from the opinions of his fellow human beings, <laughs> but I'm not sure this is reason enough to worship him. Uh, in any case, so consider, as though for the first time, the foundational claim of Christianity. The claim is this, that miracle stories of a sort that today surround a person like Satya Sai Baba become especially compelling when you set them in the pre-scientific religious context of the first century Roman Empire, decades after their supposed occurrence. We have Satya Sai Baba's miracle stories attested to by thousands upon thousands of living eyewitnesses, and they don't even merit an hour on the Discovery Channel. But you place a few miracle stories in some ancient books, and half the people on this earth think it a legitimate project to organize their lives around them. Does anyone else see a problem with that? 